Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about Babel sort algorithm. So basically, what we are going to do, we are going to there is one array, and we are going to like sort this uh, particular array in ascending order using the Babel sort algorithm. As we know, this algorithm is a uh, like one of the algorithm that basically used for the sorting the array element. This kind of algorithm actually basically also asked in the interview. So useful for this one also. So let's check out like how we are going to implement this one. What is the concept of uh, uh, this uh, Babel sort algorithm? What how it is actually internally working actually? So then you can like easily understand. I will try to explain from the very basic level so that everyone like can understand how it is working. So that you guys can like answer in a very smart way. So like for that we are going to create one Java program to sort uh, the array element using bubble sort this uh, bubble sort algorithm basically is uh, one of the simplest sorting algorithm in bubble sort algorithm array is traversed from first element to the last element here actually current element is basically compared with the next element if the current element is greater than the next element then it is basically swapped okay and uh, one more thing is actually important point for this one. So this algorithm is not suitable for large data set as its average and worst case time complexities is quite high. Next we will check like how it is basically working. So for sorting this algorithm it actually follows some steps. So let's check those steps. So for example the given array is 10, 9 and 4 and 5. I am trying to explain all the things with the minimum like kind of sort array with 4 elements. But in a real scenario maybe we can try with uh, maybe 10 or 15 or 20 elements. But for demonstrating this one so that I can explain easily and you guys can also understand these things very easily. So that's why for demo means for uh, trying to explain all the things I am just keeping only 4 elements over here. So that I can explain all the things very clearly. So in the like uh, first uh, when uh, this is the array so in a first time uh, first uh, uh, iterations actually it will trying to check uh, what is the means uh, meant, uh, the largest element so it, it will actually uh, like uh, place the correct element the largest element in the correct position so for example in this array actually given array 10 is the like largest element first largest element so the position of this 10 is basically here right so as you can see this, this will be the output of this first iteration so here so then swapping between 10 and 9 so then it will be done it will become output something like 9 10 and 4 or 5 after the third iterations then between 10 and 4 and after this one 10 and 5 then finally it will be look like this one after completing this first phase actually this is the first phase or first first pass actually you can say so 9 4 5 and 10 in the second actually in the second phase actually what it will do it will try means it will swap this one 9 and 4 and after swapping this one uh, it will be look like this 4 9 5 and 10 and then 9 and 5 basically it will swapping so then it will be look like 4 5 9 and 10 that means 9 and 10 it will be placed at the correct position in the next we will follow the same step for the third largest element so third largest element is 5 so the swapping between 4 and 5 so be, but it already like swapped so we don't need to swap so that means finally we will get the output something like this 4 5 9 and 10 so what was the input the input was 10 9 4 and 5 and the output is 4 5 9 10 so these are the step actually so how there is a no matter that how much how many elements uh, is available into the array this kind of step will be increased only but the concept wise is same it will only just swiping the elements uh, which each other actually okay so this is the overall concept uh, i am trying to explain over here about the bubble sort uh, regarding the visualization kind of thing i have also created one animations kind of thing so that uh, like we can visualize those things like how 
the swapping actually happening between two elements and how it is placed the uh, like numbers in a correct positions based on the like uh, like largest or smallest so based on the number it will actually trying to place those things in a correct position so here actually i am trying to explain all the things with the images like uh, all the diagram you can say and next i will show you how it will be looked in a visualize so let's let's check this visualization one then we are going through the implementation like code wise i will also write the code so that you guys can understand all the things like uh, in the code wise also okay and also we'll talk about some kind of a time complexities and also like space complexities so i can say over here also the time complexities for this one in is the o n square this is the worst type complexity and base will be the o n if it is sorted already then uh, then it will be o n i will say the complexity of the o n square and which makes very slow for large data set basically so now let's check the visualizations of this one so let's check basically let's check it out so this is basically let me refresh this one so as you can see this is a kind of visualization one this is the given array so for in the first iterations 94 is the biggest number so it's uh, in the correct position then 76 you can see this swapping the number between these two 73 next is uh, 68 then 67 61 you can see the switching between these two right so this is a kind of the visualization so that we can easily understand now we can see all the elements are sorted let's trying to refresh this again one So 99 is the big number, so it will be should be over here. Then 95, then 93, then 63. So you can see this is the switching between these two, and then whatever the sorting element is there, then all are is a green, right? And this is a this is the kind of the view. And here also I'm trying to put the steps like what how many steps is going on. So there is a ten steps for that actually basically. there is a like created one this uh, html and this is the script basically i have created for visualizing this uh, uh, bubble sort so that we can easily visualize those things uh, in a kind of like uh, so that we can understand basically okay so this is a kind of uh, program that uh, written in the javascript actually so it is very like so that uh, looks very you know like uh, from here we can easily understand right how it will be look like so this is overall things for this uh, one now let's uh, create uh, uh, the program uh, implementations of this one so that uh, we can we will run this one and we can check like every, everything is was fine fine or not let's create the program so let's create one java projects for example let's the name of its data structure algorithm data structure algo okay this is a kind of one java basic project that we need to create so here actually we are going to next like create one package new package a kind of algo com dot dot algo dot bubble sort okay so what we need to create one class like uh, bubble sort bubble sort algo okay so here basically first we need to create one main method sorry uh, yes obviously we need to one main method one need over here so that is fine next we need to create one method bubble sort for example okay which will basically we need to write the main logic over here it will take one input which is basically array int array okay next here we need to write the logic first for example length equal to array dot length okay next 
when you write the for loop okay okay and here we can use uh, instead of this we can use length minus one okay and i plus plus next we need to create another iterations j is equal to zero j is equal to length minus i minus one okay and j plus plus now here actually basically we need to write for that uh, swapping one okay a of j if it is greater than a j plus one okay then okay we have taken the array array if it is so then we need to swapping the element okay so how we are going to swapping like for example int temp equal to aj okay next a of j element equal to aj plus one okay and next we are going to array of j plus one equals to temp okay here instead of a we are going to write add a so this is the swapping logic this is done now next we need to call this one okay from the main method so here basically we are going to define one method like something this 4 comma 10 comma 5 comma 6 okay next we are going to call this one okay it would be a static else we are not able to call and here we need to pass this array and once it will be sorted then we need to print this one how we are going to print this one sorted array we need to print this one as using for loop okay this out array of I put some space over here else ok let's try to run this one you can see ok instead of ln we need to because ln means it uh, it's will be printed in, in a new line ok 4 5 6 10 now put some more element 90 50 40 30 okay you can see 4 5 6 10 30 40 that means it's all the elements are got sorted okay very easily now the things it does actually it's not optimized now suppose try to say that the only one issues is with this one uh, it will always run all the passes and all the iterations even if the array is already sorted or maybe nearly sorted or maybe not sorted so always this uh, loop always executed okay so we need to optimize this one so how we are going to do this so we just need to check like if the kind of uh, uh, like sorting is done swap is available or not so based on that we can like do those things so how we are going to do this one so here we need to introduce one variable like uh, uh, is swept 
equal to false ok now basically if any swapping is done so from here we are going to set as a true ok so if swap is happening then it's fine else what we are going to do we are going to break this one right so from here outside of this one if it's true then it's fine if it is not true means if it is a false then we need to break this one then it will do perform better but overall the functionalities will will not break only it will improve the performance right let's try to run this one the output is same no difference with this one only just it will improve the performance okay so this is actually basically overall things of this uh, bubble sort algorithm as you can see this algorithm is uh, very simple to write the logic i will also push this code into the github repository and share the link into the description section if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye